You know, as I've always said, research shows that a steady stream of love is one of the most important things a child needs to truly thrive. It's how they learn and grow, and it shapes who they become. Sadly, for all sorts of reasons, it's not always what happens. And you know, not getting the right care, attention, and encouragement can have a damaging knock-on effect in adulthood, impacting everything from relationships to self-worth. It breaks my heart to see so many people struggling because of it. So let's take a look at how a lack of love in childhood can manifest when you grow up. When we talk about love, we don't just mean hugs and kisses, although those are wonderful too. We're talking about emotional support, that safe space where a child knows they can be seen and heard, no matter what. Feelings are complicated to navigate for adults, let alone kids. We look to our parents to teach us how it's done. But if you didn't get the love and emotional support you needed, you may struggle. Think about it. Emotional intelligence is a skill set that we learn through guidance. When we haven't been taught how to understand, express and cope with the way we feel, that can lead to greater emotional instability in later life. So someone who hasn't felt loved may find themselves getting overwhelmed by the strength of their emotions. They may have frequent mood swings or periods of anger and sadness. They have lots of feelings bottled up inside and can struggle to regulate and share them. It's like they're on an emotional roller coaster and they don't know how to get off. Validation is so important. That's a reality that can get lost in all the talk of self-love that we hear these days. That's not to say that learning to care for and appreciate yourself isn't important. It clearly is. But as human beings, it's also perfectly natural to need the encouragement, love and validation of others, especially from our parents or caregivers. It's like a mirror reflecting back to us who we are. So when you didn't feel like you got that nod of recognition growing up, it understandably affects your self-image. It's like looking into a distorted mirror, never quite seeing yourself clearly. Sometimes, a lack of love in childhood can lead to feelings of worthlessness in adulthood. Someone may struggle with self-acceptance because they feel like they never had enough external acceptance. And you know, that lack of self-worth can seep into every aspect of their lives, from their relationships to their careers. It's heartbreaking. When we're children, we're so open and trusting. We believe in the goodness of others, especially those closest to us. But when relationships as a child don't give you what you need, you can grow up believing that they are something that brings pain and difficulty. Rather than being taught that you can get your needs met by trusting in others, your experiences have been quite the opposite. And that's when those walls start to go up. That's when trust becomes a fragile thing. That's why people who didn't receive enough love may have trust issues. They are afraid to give their heart away for fear of being abandoned or rejected. It's like they've been burned before and they're terrified of getting burned again. So rather than reach out to others, they learn to rely on themselves, building those walls higher and higher. Chapter 4 You see, what can seem like independence at first glance is actually hyper-independence. It's like they've built a fortress around their heart, convinced that they don't need anyone else. As outlined by Manhattan Mental Health Counseling, hyper-independence is an extreme form of self-reliance where an individual compulsively avoids relying on others for support or assistance. This mindset can lead to challenges in maintaining healthy relationships and hinder emotional connections, teamwork and seeking help when needed. It's like they're carrying the weight of the world on their shoulders, 
afraid to let anyone else in. Believing you can do it all and don't need anyone else is often a response to trauma. They've learned to associate vulnerability with pain, so they shut down that part of themselves. Chapter 5. The Struggle to Connect Connection, true connection, is such a beautiful thing. It's what makes us human. It's what gives our lives meaning and purpose. But when our early relationships are unstable, it's hard to learn how to do that. We can develop insecure attachment styles. As therapist Nancy Paloma Collins explains, when a person's first attachment experience is being unloved, this can create difficulty in closeness and intimacy, creating continuous feelings of anxiety and avoidance of creating deep, meaningful relationships as an adult. Emotional detachment often sets in as a defense mechanism. They've been hurt before, so they protect themselves by keeping everyone at arm's length. When we're not getting our needs met, rather than expose ourselves to the pain, it's a strategy to withdraw. It's a way of saying, I'm not going to let you hurt me again. Chapter 6. Perfectionism. The never-ending chase. Perfectionism is yet another destructive trait that can stem from a lack of love in childhood. It's this relentless pursuit of flawlessness. This belief that if they just do everything right, they'll finally be worthy of love and acceptance. When you aren't getting love, you may wonder why. The answer you come up with could be, I am not good enough. Especially if your parents were quite critical and stern, you might believe you had to earn that love first. Unaware that we are deserving of unconditional love, perfectionism develops. The thinking behind it is that in order to be deserving of good things, I must be flawless. It comes along with a real fear of failure or criticism, which may lead to further rejection. It's just one of the ways those who lacked love may strive to feel worthy, along with the next trait on our list. Chapter 7 The need to prove your worth Deep down, it's that little voice inside that whispers If I do better, if I make more of an effort, if I stand out and shine, I will finally get the love I'm desperate for. It's a never-ending cycle of trying to prove their worth, to earn the love they so desperately crave. They become overachievers, people-pleasers, always striving for external validation because they haven't learned to validate themselves. It's like they're constantly performing, hoping that someone, somewhere will finally say, you're enough. And you know what? They are enough. They always have been. Utro, finding your way back to love. We've covered a lot today, and I know it can be painful to recognize these patterns in yourself or someone you love. But please know this, there is hope. Healing is possible. It's important to remember that these are just a few of the ways that a lack of love in childhood can manifest in adulthood. If you recognize yourself in any of these descriptions, please know that you're not alone. Many people have experienced similar challenges and there is help available. Just as importantly, know that healing is possible. It takes time, it takes courage, and it takes a willingness to confront those painful emotions. But you can learn to love and accept yourself, to build healthy relationships, and to create a life filled with joy and meaning. And you know what? You deserve it.